Okay guys, the radio has been gutted. <laughs> so now we're going to <clears throat> rebuild this again, minus a few extra parts I guess. May not be using some of this, we don't know, I don't know yet, but we'll see. But uh, we're going to try and put this circuit into this box. And uh, let's see how this one works out. It's going to be interesting, but uh, yeah. Anyway, let's see what we can do, I guess. We went ahead earlier last night and uh, got a couple of uh, IF transformers. And because uh, I have to rewind these, according to T1, T2, 10 millimeter shielded IF can, 16 turn mine, main winding, um, 3.5 to 6 UH, uh, 2 turn coupling. Ditto above except 1 turn coupling. So yeah. Anyways, we'll see how this uh, works out. If it does at all. I hope it do. I really do. so far <laughs> five hours putting this little circuit together and I have to ask myself is it worth all this effort to put these damn things together and then they not work <sighs> it's we'll just keep going anyways so we got our tuning control put in variable capacitor I have me on off switch and sensitivity control right here and where this thing is rock bound crystal controlled receiver with a little bit of uh, swing with the variable instead of just having one rock I put a six position switch on this thing so I can switch in six different crystals for six different band segments the antenna connector, I was going to go with an SL239 or a BNC, and I said, nah, the hell with that stuff. So I had two of these big ceramic binding posts, and I said, well, there's already holes in the top of this unit, why not use them? So, I had to bore one hole here, but this hole was already, there was already a hole here. So I just used that, that's me positive for the antenna, that's me ground. So I still got to put me uh, speaker jack and power jack in the in the radio or in the cabinet here. But here's what she looks like on the inside. Still, uh, still in the process of wiring this thing up. I have a two SB22 right here, Q 
PNP transistor, geranium transistor, a um, 1N34A geranium diode right here. Um, that's for that. There goes to my speaker, speaker jack for my headphone speaker, or whatever. Um, that's the switch here. Here's the crystals, the crystal bank, switching out the crystals. Um, once I get the rest of the circuit built down here, this board will be installed right here. That's the plan for that. That's where that's going to live. And uh, yeah. So again, that's the antenna positive. That's the ground. Uh, that's the antenna input circuit tank, whatever. Basically, it's uh, this part here is this here. I got uh, T3, which is hiding down here underneath all of this. Um, of course, crystal bank. Uh, tuning capacitor right here and that's going to be my on off power switch and sensitivity control will be on this control here so there we have it so we've got I've got everything built um, basically what I got left to do for the most part is tie in uh, this part of the circuit here and build this whole section here that's the section left to build. Other than that, the rest of this is already done. So, got to mount five more parts <laughs> before I can power this thing up. And so, yeah. It's uh, slightly more larger than the first, in the first enclosure that I was using. But, uh, yeah, there we have it. See how she goes, I suppose. I don't know if I'll finish this tonight, but uh, I'm going to put this down as part one for the receiver. And uh, tomorrow, if I don't finish this tonight, I'll, uh, I'll finish it tomorrow evening. And uh, we'll give her a try. But uh, yeah, this here is the circuit. The um, Extaflex 40 meter, 40 meter VXO regenerative receiver. So. I'm just going to have to see now how well this one works. And I really, truly hope that with all the work and time I spent on this thing, I hope it works. I really do. Oh yes, and um, I got a phone call, I should say a message earlier tonight. Uh, we have a little project coming up. Um, we have a realistic TRC-458 base station that's going to be uh, arriving here in the next few days and it has low RF output power so that's uh, that's the next uh, I guess little series the 458 we're going to see now if we can't uh, can't sort her out I got to say I enjoy the, I enjoy that 450 uh, the UPD858 uh, PLL that particular board it's a nice board to work on and uh, I'm quite familiar with it to say the least so, anyways, yeah, let's upload this as part two, or part one, I should say, and, uh, yeah, we'll be working on the 458 when she comes in, and, uh, yeah, anywho, we shall chat at later, it's Radio 63, out, oh, yes, one more thing before I let you go, uh, if there's anybody out there in YouTube land, um, that you know would like me to work on their CB radio equipment by all means get in touch with me um, especially anybody here on the island for sure I don't think there's too many people repairing uh, CB radios as such so yeah if you got something busted and you want me to take a look at it just send me a message either through the website or send me an email at bo1mds at hotmail.com Anywho, we shall chat later. This time, it's Rain 63, we're out of here. And, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this thing is going to turn out. Fingers crossed that it's going to work the first thing. But you know, it won't. <laughs>